Now that's the way to start the day. Jalen Brunson, dub. Zion Williamson, dub. And we get the win we were looking for. Love to see it. Makes me feel great. I love starting days like this. Today is Wednesday, January 24th, and we're coming in off of a win. These are the prize picks picks. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. But the big one, we only need one more this week. Any win today, tomorrow, Friday locks us in for profit. If you're looking for more plays, you can get those at Odd Shopper. Whether it's pick'em or straight up sports betting, we are taking a market-based approach to beating the books. I got the pick'em side pulled up right now and right out of the gate, under five and a half rebounds for Tyler Hero, looking like the best play you can find on prize picks. If you're looking for an extra one, cause that's not in my video, grab this one right now. 4% expected value, 56% win rate. If you're playing on some of the other sites, I'm looking at it right now. If you're on better, you can grab a Jaron Jackson play that has a 5% EV and a 58% win rate. This is all for the pick'em sites. You can shop around, find the best lines. You can do the exact same thing on the sports betting sign. Side, make sure, sign, side, side, side. Make sure that you're paying attention to the lines that you can get. You wanna be at a bunch of different books, shop around. We have it all one click away. Link in the description if you wanna sign up. First play for today, we're looking for revenge from Monday. We're going Giannis Antetokounmpo, 52 and a half is the line. We are going less than that one for points rebounds and assists. Now this game is in Milwaukee. They're at home, fresh off of a coach firing, taking on a Cleveland Cavaliers team that's exceptional defensively, even without Evan Mobley. I gave him 36 minutes. I think everything does look good for Giannis, but I'm well below this 52 and a half number. He beat us on Monday. He hadn't beaten this number in his previous four games, that's for sure. So do I love this? No, it's so not fun to cheer against Giannis. However, I'm a believer in the data and the data got us where we needed to be yesterday and it succeeded for this entire NBA season and I'm not gonna stop now. So I'm just gonna suck it up and not worry about it and we're gonna go less than 52 and a half points, rebounds and assists on Giannis because I'm four and a half below that number. I will not be surprised to see it go down a little bit. Our second play for today feels a lot like the first one. We are going less than 45 and a half points, rebounds, and assists to Shea Gilgis Alexander. Yeah, I know. Now this one's on the road. They're in San Antonio. They are on a back-to-back. -back. Spurs defense has been a lot better as of late in comparison to where it was earlier in the season. It's not a total dumpster fire. It's just sort of not awesome. I went 34 minutes here for Shea. Again, they're on the back-to-back. -back. I think they can be relatively easy here, although last one, last night was a weird one against Portland. Line set at 45 and a half. I got it at 42 and a half. He beat this his last time out. He has not beaten this one in his previous four to that. Again, I don't pay attention to those trends, but I do like to take a peek at them. It's mostly, for me, in this one, it's mostly the back-to-back -back and the feeling that sort of anybody can get it from OKC when you're facing a San Antonio team. Shea taking it to the rack against Wemby, I'm a little interested in that, but ultimately, these were the two best plays I have in my model to start off my day, and I can't turn my back on that. So less than 45 and a half points, rebounds, and assists for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. I hope you're joining me on the non-fun bus tonight. Giannis, less than 52 and a half. Shea, less than 45 and a half. We are cheering against two high-level stars in the NBA. Should be an incredibly fun sweat. You assume that, like, they're decent and we're really going to be biting our fingernails at the end of the fourth quarter, but maybe we'll get lucky, we'll get two blowouts, and we don't have anything to worry about. But either way, we picked up a dub yesterday. I'm hoping we pick up another one today. We only need one more this week and we are profitable. I'll see you guys again in the morning.